There we go. We gotta start now with uh, Smooth Criminal as the first map. So let's go ahead and uh, I will quickly introduce you to everything. Yeah. So we have uh, the Gamers Assembly 2021 Halloween Edition, which is going into, I think it's the first time we're gonna see a Halloween Edition. I cannot remember myself when that was, but um, we have this one with five beautiful maps. Yeah, the first one is a Smooth Criminal, actually one of the favorite maps from my side from Roxy. World record is a 105.36 by Barbos, who is already in the grand final. But we still have two more spots to be distributed amongst the players because um, Barbos and Tween are already in the final, but two other players can make it who are right now in the loser bracket. Yeah, Shay, Megorian, Sam and Coco will fight it out for two spots in the loser bracket final. Yeah, so the players who are losing, who get third or fourth in this match, will be eliminated. We play under cup mode, so cup mode means that players collect points throughout the course of the match. So five maps are played with one round beforehand and five live rounds. In the five live rounds, players are collecting points towards their respective position. First place is worth 10 points, second place is worth six points, third and fourth, four and three points respectively. So you can really see you want to get first and second as much as possible, but even second place is not really getting you too far in this one. So first place could be really or is the goal for you as we have smooth criminal the first map that we played good luck to the players as um yeah the map is the longest here 105.36 world record by barbos and let's go ahead and to the first round here coco and shay with a great start magorian a bit behind and also sam not getting it really well but accumulating a lot of speed here in this section the first mistake has been done by the polish powerhouse by magorian yeah so he is behind also before a speedy section, also not with a smooth landing, so he lost approximately one second over this one. Shea and Coco fighting it out here, the Frenchman, as well as Sam, so top three, France, here and also three players, but one player has made another mistake, it was Sam by the looks of it, also Shea capitalizing from that, no, actually never mind, it was Shea making that mistake, or maybe Sam hasn't crashed too much, so that he didn't lose that much speed, now over the balance part, good approach from both Sam and Shea, Shea with a bit more speed. Can he overtake him? Looking good here. Good nose dive is required here as well. Shea not with the best line, but gets himself a lot of speed over that last part of the track. Coco is leading, but he makes that mistake and actually gets overtaken by Sam and Shea. Shea almost failing that ending. Megorian on third and Coco from riches to rags. So from nothing, from millionaire to nothing. Yeah, not from rags to riches as you know it from the um, utopian movies. It is a dystopian movie now for Coco in that first round. The easy dune player from 10th to 3rd or to 3 points in this round. From 10 to 3 points in this round. So not too good, but hey, this can happen. Maybe he has to acclimatize after that uh, cup of the day slash OGL break. Coco has to maybe find the rhythm back, but he makes another mistake after lagging a bit here. Coco is in last again, and this is not a good start for him as Shea is currently leading the race, but also he makes a mistake. I don't know, everyone who I spectate makes a mistake. Let's see if Sam also makes a mistake here. I highly hope that he will not make one, else I'm just gonna go into the free camera in the next round. But we have Magorian still leading the race. Sam in second. Um, he is 0.4 ahead of Shea, who is on third position. Then Coco on P4, still so far behind. Needs to rely on a mistake from one of the players here. Magori with a great line here. And also Sam not doing it too bad. And let's see who fails the ending jump. No one is doing that. Magorian in first, 106.24. Sam on second, then Shea on third, and Coco on P number four. So six points only for Coco for me. One of the favorites going into the match here, but hey, maybe he can redeem himself as the point limit is 100 points. That is a long way to go. Not 120 as in the loser bracket final, consolidation final. Wait, in loser bracket final, it's not 120 if I was recording correctly. But hey, we're gonna, we're gonna find out. It's, it's usually consolidation, grand final and winner bracket, which is a 120 points. Okay, let's go ahead. To this round here as we have Shea still leading and Coco behind. Sam has made a small blunder by the looks of it, was falling a bit behind but just a not so good slide 
as he finds himself still on the battle here for that second position. Good line, Coco with more speed and also the better approach over there. Oh, look at Coco's speed here into that battle for first. He even goes, overtakes Megorian, but Megorian is not saying, no, I want only want to get four points in this round. Megorian still holding strong here, wants to defend his first place here that he has already accumulated on this map. But this is not enough for Megorian here, not really getting too much speed, but maybe someone's making that ending mistake. But no, that is not the case. Shea on first, Coco on second and that was a great round indeed between the players my god Megorian on third and sam behind with a 106.33 which was enough to actually win rounds okay next round coming up as we have um a good fight between the three players here, Shay, Megorian, and Coco. But it seems that two of them have made a mistake, including so including Sam into that one. So Sam and also Shay behind Coco and Megorian are fighting it out for the big boy points. Coco would really need a 10-pointer here, as Megorian also is currently on third place. Only two points behind Shay. But still, nothing is over. I have the feeling that this will be a very evenly distributed match amongst the players here. Because there's not really a huge skill gap. I mean, in general, on tech, it's like the players are so fast. Of course, there are some skill gaps. But not compared towards other environments or other playing styles. As Magorian gets himself that first position. Yep. A 105.80. That is a great time if you consider that the world record record on this map is a 105.36 so he was uh, 0.44 away coco right now on last so uh believers in shambles at the moment but those are only 10 points and bear in mind that there is still the finest mode that you have to clear Next round is coming up. Round number five. So the last round of this map. Then we're gonna go to the next map. As Coco and Shay have it really good. Shay with a very good approach, but didn't get the best amount of speed. Had to readjust his line. So Coco is capitalizing from that. Sam and Magorian point two away here. As you can see, Magorian gets a good line. Sam, bit of conservative speed there after that. So he is uh, not really feeding that one too well. Also here, oversliding tremendously. And with that, not getting as much speed as the others. But also Shea has made a mistake. So he's down to that last position. Coco and Megorian yet again leading the race. But can Coco eventually get himself that well or dire needed 10 pointer to not fall tremendously behind? Yes, he can. 106.045. Sam on second. Shea on third. And then we have Megorian on that last position. And look at that. Very, very cozy scoreboard. We have 27 points for that last person. 28, 29, and 31 points. Oh, man. I can smell not only me, but also a very close match that we have in our hands here. All right. There we go. Next map, we have Easy Life by Kisla. World record here as on the other map. The world record by Barbos, a 52.98. Yeah, this map, some of you might know this one. <laughs> this map, a Kisla map. This map is not too hard, but due to the difficulty, you know, players have to push it a lot, especially that ending turn that turn before the last real jump and then the last two drift sections are coming up. This one is really hard. I'm talking about this slide that comes up here. Yeah, you have this one and then you jump into that slide and kind of can either go very inside or very wide and gain a lot of speed to get a good approach here. Also here, it's a really weird apex that you have to hit to get yourself a very good right steering angle as well as here, this part, you know, kind of those turns are connected to each other if you are pushing it to the limit. No, like, room for correction there. It's not easy to do. You know, you see Coco. Yeah, you know, you have to steer to the right and then go very wide towards that port or very outside and avoid that 
narrowing of the road and also squeeze yourself throughout that hairpin. So it's not easy to do, but um, the players are ready on this one. Loser bracket semi-final it is, and the competition also has a huge prize pool compared to Trackmania of 750 euro. There we go. First round here on Easy Life. Yeah, the second map that has or will be played here in this loser bracket semi-final. The other semi-final is casted by Bren and Nekora. So you can check that out probably on Bren's channel. And let's go ahead into the first round here. Sam though with the best start. Also a player that I don't really see in a couple of the days. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But for me, he's a competition player who has really improved, but also was under the radar for a long time for me. You know, you have seen him in the Duo Cup, in the Game War Duo Cup, and some other Trackmania competitions. But right now, he is really doing great. We have Megorian winning with a point 38. Shea behind, Coco on third. And then we have Sam on last position after that small mistake here, only getting himself three points. So Sam falling a bit behind as Coco is coming a bit closer here with that... Oh no, actually, he's falling behind as well, but it's very close. Let's say like that. It's just very close. You cannot tell. You really need 10 points. And who has gotten himself 10 points? It is Megorian. So Megorian, 41 points right now. Looking strong to uh, maybe go away with some points. Maybe he needs another 10 points to create some sort of gap. As he right now is uh, point 0.1 behind Coco, who needs yet another 10 points to also walk away from Shea and Sam because they are right now tied towards him or have one more point than him as Coco gets a good approach. But look at the approach from Megorian. Has way more speed over that part. That's what I was talking about. And he is currently leading again, but also gets a better line over that. Coco still leading. Megorian with more speed. Let's follow Coco's perspective here as he gets a good line. Megorian with a mistake and Coco survives the ending. 53.625. Not the fastest time that we have seen but definitely a good one um, to win rounds because of the difficulty from this map. We have seen one axis here, also two axes, and I think a zero X time as well, if I was recording it correctly, as the world record is a 0.98. Not a zero X, I think, but like one on two axes. But still, it is Coco winning it and going into that second position. Megorian's still leading, despite making a mistake, but now he could actually drop down from that leading position, from that pole position, since he is on last position right now. Coco, however, also made a mistake. So now Sam's and Shay's chance of making some damage here and elevating themselves up into that either second or third position for Shay's perspective, or even more than that. We don't know. He could also tie up to Megorian. Yeah. Could be very cozy after this round as the bottom two players are leading the race and they have a comfortable gap here of 0.5 of a second as Shea still leads the round. They're doing it really good. Also Sam, conservative approach, but still stays ahead, ahead of Coco and a 53.50 is enough for him to claim the 10 points. Also, thank you Poke for the resub. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, my man. 15 months already. Wow, that is crazy. Thank you so much, man, for that support. And everyone else who is following, I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. You get your alert after this match. Okay, next round. Three points between the top four, between the four players in this match. And we have already played eight rounds here. Yeah, we're in round number nine at the moment. And Coco has made that first mistake, so he could drop down to last if Sam gets himself that second place. Right now, it's not looking too good as Shea and Megorian are leading, and they have a great fight. 3,000th of a second, different approaches over this part. Also, a kind of different line. Megorian goes a bit more inside, Shea a bit more inside. And it's, it's weird here. It's, it's a weird line and a weird turn that you have to hit, as well as that ending. Yeah, very unique drifting style as Shea goes into the lead. Megorian with a bit more speed. The ending will decide it, and it's Shea winning here. 13,000th of a second. That was a very, very good finish from Shea. He had to push it there, touching the ending. But of course, it, it matters what part of your car touches the finish first. You don't have to be with your full, with the full car behind the finish line. And he takes it. Great round between them. And Shea leading with that. Megorian on second, Coco, and then... Sam, but still only 10 points between them.
Only 10 points between those players. But Sam looks to fall down even more than 10 points towards the leader, since he's also on last place here in that last round on easy life. Yeah. So Sam not with a first position. He seems to struggle a bit on this map, but we have a great fight between the players. Coco going very wide there, also not touching the limitation or the, the pole there, or whatever that was, um, with his back. So gets himself a lot of speed now, the ending will decide it. Coco not doing it too well, so Shea will overtake him! Actually, no, because Shea was finishing more to the left, and that was a great round again. Begorian on first with a point 40, so times have gotten really faster. Coco on second, Shea on third, and Sam falling more and more behind. I'm quickly running an ad to avoid pre-roll ads because uh, it's just the worst thing ever. So only 30 seconds of ad time. Sorry for that, guys, but I just don't want this match to be interrupted for ads on your side so i can rather run an ad once there is the warm-up and i will run ads throughout the next warm-ups as well that we can add up some um pre-roll non-pre-roll time yeah because for every ad you get 10 minutes of non-pre-rolled ads or non-pre-roll on your channel there we go so warm up here on spirit tom my favorite map and also a Pokemon yeah a Pokemon from the fourth generation I think you found that one on route 209 was that the case I'm clearly gonna Google that Pokemon I think that was route 209 yes it actually was Wow it was route 209 <laughs> and there was like a how can you say that you had to attach a a ball to like a a quarry or however you call that and had to talk to 25 people in the underground section to uh, to actually obtain spirit tom as a pokemon yeah so also this pokemon was used by the generation 4 champion cynthia and it's a, I think, Dark-type Pokémon. I'm not so sure about that, but of course fitting to Halloween and also the theme of the map. A very unique Pokémon. But let's not talk about Pokémon. I mean, I'm a, very, I'm a nerd about the fourth generation, yeah? But let's talk about this match here. Let's talk about this match as we have... Um, um, the, yeah, I'm gonna post it on Twitter after that then, uh, that I'm casting the Consolidation Final and the... Uh, uh, loser bracket final as well uh, oh you didn't know in general about about the whole event oh that's unfortunate daniel but welcome man and also hello to Livion. but let's focus on the round here on that first round round number 11 megorian sam and shay in the top three but we have shay having a clear lead here so that's good to see that he is performing that well as megorian will get himself that second place shay in first with a 58.14 every time that goes into the sub 58 proximity is very fast as the world record is a 57.70 and a sub 58 time would be 10th world record and we have one player actually who hasn't finished i think that was coco if i was seeing it correctly okay so 71 69 and 56 points a clear gap between second and third already which is not so good so Coco falling behind, but never count Coco out. There's one rule, also when I was, like, throughout the course of my casting, quote-unquote, career, yeah? If Coco has arrived in a match and he gets first place, he's just rolling over everyone. But right now he struggles to arrive in that match or to depart himself into the match, let's say, like that, as he makes more and more mistakes. Shea and Megorian in first and second. Yet again, they will get some good points. Sam not on par with them in this round as well. Only getting four points, so the gap is rising. And also Shea getting first position here. 600 ahead of Megarion. Good round. And then Shea, Sam with a point 59 on third. Still a good round, but not enough for him to take it. 
So 58 and 59 points for Coco and Sam. A gap of 16 points between second and third. And bear in mind, the top two is going through and the bottom two has to pack their things. And they have to go and say bye-bye and can call themselves Gamers Assembly 2021 Halloween Edition Loser Bracket Semi-Finalist, which is equivalent to Top 12. Yeah, top 12, I think. Top 9 to 12, I think, if I if I did the math correct. But now Coco and Sam are leading. So that's good for them because both Megorian and Shay have made a mistake. Yeah. Coco doing a great job here of holding that lead. But look at the speed from Sam that he has accumulated over that long stretch. Also here, it's very important to hit the apex. Go full speed over that one and jump into the drift by gathering as much speed as possible. But Coco might have that. And maybe this is the momentum boost that the Easy Dream player needs. 58.40 and a 58.62 as Sam <laughs> bonks there from the plastic and almost bugs through the map. Interesting to see. Shay and Megorian only with 4 and 3 points. 69 points for Coco. Nice. And let's hope that he can get himself some more points. Alright, next round is coming up. As we have Shay, Sam, Coco and also Megorian all with a great start. Sam a bit wider, had to release Coco, bonk into the wall. That is not good for him since he had that momentum on the side from the previous round. Maybe he was confident of making that, he had to push it though. But this corner is really, really punishing if you make a mistake because either you have to respawn or you have no speed throughout the whole like next 10 seconds or something. So unfortunate stuff for him in general. This track feels quite fast, yeah? Like not speed techy, but you have a lot of drift turns in that fourth gear and then you also like almost go into fifth gear here in that turn, but you don't want to gear up. Yeah, but look at the fight here between the Megorian with the attack. Very good approach and Megorian into that first place. He goes with a point 18. That was definitely a good round here. 58.18 for Megorian on Spiritomb. Yeah, world record is a point 70, 57.70. And um, yeah, Shay and Sam only on second and third. So yeah, good job here from Megorian. Seeding, of course, still matters because we still have... Oh wait, the seeding doesn't really matter because we only have the loser bracket final after that. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter if you're first and sec or second after this one. Only matters that you are in that first and second position. Kogo lagging a bit, Megorian and Shay in first and second yet again. Bear in mind, point number is 100. So if you have surpassed 100 points, you will activate finest mode. And with that, you have to win one more round in order to get either first or second place and go into the next round. So Megorian with a victory, he would be up to 99 points. Get himself that face slap. But of course, also the nice, the finest mode towards Shay that he can get if he is uh, getting first. But that's not the case here. It is Megorian winning it with a point 27, a point 49.8 by Shay in second, then Sam and Coco behind. So they couldn't really match the pace here from uh, Megorian and Shay. Yeah, from Sam. And, yeah, from Megorian and Shay, Coco and Sam couldn't do that. Yeah, that was correct. My god. Too much talking. Yeah, this feels like Trackmania 2 all over again. If this song starts with a map swap. Pog. Dude, I missed the I missed the Trackmania 2 music actually when it comes to casting. So I'm cur currently using the mix from Speed Self. He has created a one-hour mix um, featuring the the best Valley Valley OST songs, Stadium OST songs, and 2020 songs. Yeah, very cool. Very nice.
Okay, so we have uh, the next map. We have Suri Millsap by Klam, and that really feels like a Klam map here indeed. Yeah, which is not a bad thing, thing of course. World record is a 58.824 by feed set 10 hours ago. Oh, wait, should I actually reset here? 16 hours ago, so feed was playing at 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I see. And grinding the maps. So good luck to the players. One warm up, this risky ending jump is not so easy. World record is, of course, sub 59. So times that go around that 59 barrier or kind of almost break it are great as we see the first mistake already by Coco. And this is not good because that means that Shay will definitely get himself that finest mode attached because he's at 96 points. So we're gonna have a double final situation between Megorian and Shay going into that next round on Suri Milsap. Okay, so Megorian leading, but it doesn't really matter. Maybe just for the sake of their fight. I certainly don't mind who is winning or losing that one. Or they should also not mind. But of course the momentum could be important as Shea has a bit more speed here in the ending. Great ending from Shea. And 59.22. Great round between them actually. That really shows that both of them are on a good level. And good luck to both of them because both, both have elevated themselves up to the finest mode. So Megorian and Shea both in finalist. Coco right now at 78 points. He needs a miracle though to stay alive. Of course, only one person can win here. So Coco will go up over that 80 point mark. Sam not quite. So that means that he has to win two rounds to still claim finals mode himself. Yeah. So everything can happen here as this is the second round on uh, this map and Coco is right now pushing it though. He wants no one to win here, but right now he is behind Megarian who could qualify himself to that loser bracket final already. Good look, at, look at that amount of speed from Megarian from the Polish powerhouse here. Great job and he is leading with that. Megarian leads here with quarter of a second. So this is almost the preempted GG. But uh, never say never, there is still the ending left for Megorian that he has to do. Good apex though, and also a good approach. So Megorian is through, the first player in the loser bracket final. Well deserved, Coco gets second, Sam on third. So Sam still up to 80 points, which is important, because with two victories, he is finalist as well. So next round coming up, Coco, Sam and Shay are fighting out for one more spot. The other two players have to say bye-bye and cannot play anymore after that. Because the bottom two is eliminated. Yeah, we are in the loser bracket. Coco and Shay fighting it out. Great fight here between them. Shay leading the race. Coco with a good approach there as well. Gets himself so much speed over that one. 17,000 of a second between Coco and Shay. Very, very good approach from Coco there as well. Getting so much speed out of that. It's very close. Look at that. 3,000s. It's neck and neck. It's so close between them. As Coco right now has the upper hand. Shay with a better approach. But Coco also is pushing it. Was drifting a bit too much though. And this means that Shay only has the ending left. To clear but the ending can be very hard but Shay looking good to survive it no Coco is getting that first place because Shay is clipping that one small piece here I can show that to you wait a second wait a second guys I'm gonna show that to you there's one small piece this one here that you can clip and also the ramp so Shay is not through yet and it is Coco versus Shay, and then also Sam, not too far behind. Let's take a look. Who will get that? Who will get that last spot here? Round four out of five. Shay is crumbling under the pressure. And Coco, as I said, Coco is the comeback meister. Yeah. And he is looking strong. 
and also can go up into the finals mode. He only needs second place, but makes that mistake. But still, Shay is so far behind. But now we have a fight between them. Shay so close and Sam all of a sudden in first position. What a messy round, though. What a messy round was that. Coco also with a no set, so he will not get himself that finest mode. Sam still leading Shay with another mistake, but Coco is so far away. So Sam will take it here. No, actually... What is happening? Great round. Okay, we have a double final situation between Coco and Shay. And also, you know, Shay could have had it if Sam, you know, if, if Sam, so Sam made that mistake. And if Shay didn't make a mistake there, he would have had it. But now Coco has made a mistake. So it's Shay versus Sam here. Can Sam do the unthinkable and get himself another victory? It's do or die for him. It's eight hundreds of a second. But Shay is already leading. Shay is leading the race and has so much more speed to work with. He just has to survive here and he will be in the loser bracket final and knock out Coco and Sam. Still couple of more turns to go for Shay and also the ending which can be very punishing he gets it so good though so much amount of speed look at that as well and Shay on his way to take home that victory after some throws here Shay will eventually take it GG's 59.40 Shay is through Coco and Sam are out GG